Hi, this is Mary, and I'm welcome to the Paper Turtle. I'm just a little bit freaky right now because I'm not really sure where to look in the camera to make it look like I'm looking at you. I feel like I'm looking in the wrong direction or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so anyway, today I'm going to be working in my beach journal, and I'm going to be just embellishing some pages and just trying to work on getting this thing finished up. So grab a chair, grab your stuff, and come along and craft with me. <laughs> okay, so here's my beach journal and it is, um, it's getting there and it's getting a little bit fatter <laughs> each time, of course, that I work in it. So I'm almost done embellishing the first signature. So I have the two other signatures to go and I just feel like this is taking me forever to work on this, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So, um, today, well, right now what I'm working on is I have this little, um, ticket and I want to put this fish on the back of the ticket and then just, I'm going to just stick it up in here in this tuck spot and I have this tiny little tag and I'm going to put something on the tag. I'm not sure what, and that will go with the ticket in the tuck spot and that'll be this page unless I decide to put something on here I'm not sure and then this one is done I have a journaling card in there it's not really a journaling card it's um this was a cut apart page from graphic 45 so it's just got beach rules on the back well it is a journaling card it's got journaling on the other side of it so that is just getting tucked right in there and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. And then I have a postcard that I want to embellish to go in this page. And that's all I have planned so far. So we'll see how this goes. So I hope you've got your stuff and I hope you're crafting along with me. Otherwise you're gonna probably be a little bit bored. I hope not. Um, I try to, I don't know, have my chatter be at least a little bit interesting. Um, I think I've mentioned before that this particular journal is going to be, if they're still going to do it, I don't even know, I haven't heard, I have to check with them. It's going to be a silent auction item at my high school reunion. A little bit nervous about that because um, I was a bit of a wallflower in high school, I was very, very shy. So not many people really got to know me except for my immediate friends. And um, I don't worry too much about what they think because even if they don't like my journal, <laughs> they like me. Um, and I'm, I don't really care what the other people think as far as their opinion of me or my journal, really. Um, but I'm really nervous that nobody's going to bid on it and if nobody bids on it that would be like super embarrassing and really heartbreaking for me so i'm kind of scared about that but um i don't know i'm gonna i'm giving it my best shot and i'm gonna put it out there and we'll see i've never sold any of my journals just because i'm not uh confident that my journals are something that anybody would buy. So I've only made them as gifts and for myself. So we'll see how this goes. This is kind of a little bit of a test for me to see if it's, uh, I don't know, worth trying to sell. I sell, I sell supplies all day long in my Etsy shop. Um, I don't mind doing that, but the journals themselves are not, uh, it's kind of scary to put myself out there. So here's a tiny little tag. I have a really fun tag punch. Some of you I'm sure have seen it before. Let's see who makes it. Um, McGill. I'm not sure. That's not a brand I'm familiar with, I guess. Um, but it's got three sizes of little tags and they're, they're this tiny one. Well, that's not even the tiny one. Where's the tiny one here? This tiny one is so cute. I'm not sure 
what I would do with a tag that tiny, but it's they're cute. And then this is the, the middle size. And then the bigger size is, is a good size to put in a tuck spot too. So I like that tag maker. And I also have the tags. I have this punch here that punches just the tops of your tags. Um, you can put in three sizes, but I do in between the sizes too. I just make sure it's centered on there. And it punches the hole and a little decorative thing on the top of your tag. So this is a fun punch to use. And this is the Paper Studio. So that's from Hobby Lobby. So I am just, this is a little ticket that, I don't know, we got in a, some place where we bought a raffle ticket. We didn't win, obviously. We still have the ticket. Whatever it was we were trying to win. So I'm just sticking this little fish on there to cover up that, that thing. And that's all I'm going to do with this. I'm not doing anything very special with it because it's just a tiny little fun thing to stick in there. I usually I don't glue right on there because... Um, I don't know. It wipes off. I can glue on there, but it's my work surface, so if I'm gluing on a piece of scrap paper, I can just move the scrap paper like so and continue on my work surface. So I don't know how beachy he is, but he's kind of cute. And for this little tag, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on there. I have this folder full of beachy images that I'm using in my journal. Um, let's see if I have something small enough to go on this tag. Cut this. I could cut that up, I guess. I have this little shell. That's kind of boring. Um, what else do I have? I have all these images, but they're all a little bit too big for this tiny tag. So I think that I'm going to I guess I could just put a shell on it. What do you think? Or should I put one of these? I'll just put the shell. I wish I had something to put like behind the shell. Maybe just a tiny scrap of a trim or something. I don't know. It's so little. I don't think it's like anything that somebody's going to actually journal on. You could put a couple words on there if you write tiny, I guess. These are all images that I've cut mostly from a um couple pieces of scrap of paper that had like the images repeated on itself and some of them are from a book and I have another shell book that um, I haven't even started to cut up yet so if I run out of these things I can go to that other book and get some other stuff but I didn't really want the thing the journal to be all about just shells because it's like a general beach theme Right, so this is my little scrap jar and eventually one day I might make like a snippet or something. I have this little piece of lace. Let's see if that will add anything at all. I guess that adds a little tiny bit. Let me see if I can ink it. working a little bit. I wish I could get like the edges a little bit darker. Let's see. I feel like I'm just like working with this teeniest, tiniest little thing. There. That works a little bit, right? I like it. Okay. So, see if I can get that thing to stick.
so you can laugh at yourself if you save a tiny little piece look how little that that is and I saved that but look it I'm using it <laughs> so it doesn't it doesn't matter how little they are you can still use them I use the tiniest pieces of scrap and besides even if you don't come on glue even if you don't use it on something you have it for a snippet a snippet roll or just like this or whatever save those tiny pieces I hope this glue I know it, it dries clear I need to get a paper towel right back I, I know that this glue dries clear and I hope it doesn't dry like with a residue I don't think it will um, I've, I haven't noticed one, but I usually kind of mop it up so that it's not there. Okay, so these are going to go. I'm just sticking them in here. Like that. I think. I might move them. I don't, I don't know. They're, but they're, they're there for now. Okay, so then this page... I'm not really sure what I want to do on this page yet. I have to get going um, to get my creativity in gear. I have to be crafting for a few minutes before I can really start thinking of something creative to do. So that's why this this is I'm going to skip it for now until I think of what to do on it. Because I already have, let's see, I have this fold out. And again, I'm not sure what to do with this, so that's, I'm leaving that for now. I already have this pocket, this kind of a double pocket thing. And in this pocket, I shouldn't be showing you this because I'm going to show you a flip through later, but in this pocket, I have a little mini journal. It's just pages. I'm not decorating them. I'm just leaving this like it is. They can decorate it if they want to. And then this is just a tag. Um, so I have journaling pages. I have some tuck spots I have an envelope I have a, a side pocket with a thing in it and I have a bigger pocket with a tag in it I have a flip up and I have where is it I do have a fabric flip here somewhere oh here a fabric flip so I have those things already in this signature so now I'm here I'm not sure what else to put what to put on this page so that is my dilemma right now but this I had found this little um, replica of a postcard it's not a real postcard it's just in a pack of pre-made ephemera that I found so I'm going to put something on this side of it and just tuck that in there and I think I think what I'm gonna put on it is if it fits I'm have to see if uh, I think it might be too big. Is that too big? Yes, that's too big for that. Shoot. Um, darn it. Now I have to figure out what to put in here. Put on it. Um, all right, I'll be right back. Can I pause this? Okay, so I decided to use this and put it on the back of this. So... Um, it's, it's a little bit bigger, but the width is, works and I'm just going to cut it down and it, it's going to cut off the top of the palm tree, but that's all right. I don't mind this, um, this cut apart sheet is a bow bunny collection. It is, I think the name of the collection, um, I don't know, it might be paradise, but I'm not sure it's older. I don't know if it's still out there anywhere, but it had, has a lot of really um, fun beach papers, and I think I only bought the cutout sheet. I'm not sure. If I, if I had the rest of it, I've already used it on something. So 
So, um, I'm just going to, I want it to be on this side like this. I'm just going to center it on there as best I can. And then I'll trim it. Yeah, I better do it all the way to the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to have um, another haul video soon. I don't have a lot for this next haul video, but I am going to an estate sale tomorrow. And I don't know if they're going to have anything at that one, but I'm going to, I'm going to try anyway. We'll see. And then after, after that one, I'm going to uh, do the video. I'm trying to think if I put it this way. I guess it doesn't really matter when I flip it. And I want this to be right at the edge. My high school reunion that I'm going to, that I'm making this for, is in Massachusetts. That's where I grew up. And people up there love the beach. Um, I grew up in the center of the state, central Massachusetts, so it was not near the beach. It was probably, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half drive to the beach from where we lived. So... To the people up there who who don't get to the beach very often, um, they really like the beach. It's it's like a big thing for them. When they go to the beach, it's an all day, all day affair. And, um, I mean, I used to live up there, and I used to be the same way. But since I moved to Florida, and I lived um, on the coast. The beach is like not a big deal for me anymore. And in fact, a lot of the beaches have become so touristy that I just never, I stopped going just because it's way too much traffic, too many people on the beach. You have to pay too much for parking and it just wasn't um, a pleasant experience for me anymore. But I still like the beach. Like we would go at night in the evening to watch the sunset and we're on the west coast of florida so the sunsets are absolutely gorgeous the best i have seen anywhere um so that's that's how i like the beach is at night when the sun is setting and there's not many people there and the tourists are gone and that's how i like the beach but the people up north like the beach in the heat of the day with all of their stuff that they drag to the beach with all of the tourists there and it's just not my not my cup of tea, but knowing that they like it, that's why I chose a beach theme to um, to do. All right, so here's my uh, postcard. So this can be used for journaling, and then it's got this pretty thing on the back. And I'm just putting it in here. I'm trying to keep this journal as simple as I can and keep it about the journaling areas as opposed to trying to do fancy um, elaborate embellishments and stuff because I don't think they're going to get that. But if they see, oh, this is a place to write in, then I think that they might get it better. I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating them, but that's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay, so I still haven't gotten my creative mojo here yet. I have this blank page I need to do something on and I have an envelope that I need to put something in. So I will make a journaling card or something to go in this envelope. And I'm thinking, let's see, I have some lace here and some trim here. Maybe I will use this trim in this signature and then use a different trim in the, each of the next signatures. I wonder how that would 
um, come across. I've never really done it that way before, but I'm going to try it. So I think I'm just going to put some trim here and leave this blank for um, embellishing. I need to trim. Tri I need to trim the trim. Where's my these two? I was waiting for them to dry before I trimmed the the ends off. I don't want the ends there. So I made a mistake. We all make mistakes on our journals, right? We don't usually tell people. We just kind of go with it and do something. But I'm not sure uh, what I want to do with this one. I'll tell you what my mistake was. When I did my centers right here, I didn't leave enough string. I, what I should have done was left more string so that they hung lower here because I was playing around with it and I was thinking that I wanted to put some beads on the end of these, but they have to hang below the edge of the book. And I didn't, definitely not enough on this one. I didn't, it was, it was actually a little longer and I was playing around with it and I ended up cutting it because I didn't like what, I, what was going on with it. So these are not long enough to hang beads on and neither are the other two signatures. You can see they're too short. So my um my other thing that I usually do on these these strings is I will do a paper um end not a bead it's just a piece of paper like usually I'll punch a heart or something and I glue the hearts together at the end of it and I have them actually up in the book it's paper so they're flat and the the book will lay flat I can't do that with a bead so I don't have any like little punches that are beach themed that I could put on the ends of these. And I don't know, um, like my cutouts that I'm using, the, the images that I'm using aren't going to work on there either because they're not the same on both sides. I don't have enough of the same images or opposite images, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well, but this is my dilemma. I'm not sure what to put on the ends of my strings. So that's another thing I'm trying to think of and trying to come up with what to do with that. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know because this book is not going to be done for a while and I need, I need some ideas. Okay. So I'm going to put this trim here. This is a, a really cute, I love this color. It's a little bit stretchy. Um, which doesn't bother me. I can, I just stretch it across very slightly. I don't pull it too long when I'm putting it on there because I don't, uh, I don't know. I just don't know if it'll stay as well that way. So I have a, I'll use this. And I believe with this trim I used this this uh, clear gel tacky glue. Seems to work a little bit better on some of the trims that don't like to stick. Every once in a while I have one that doesn't like the white glue. So I use this and I think I was using this. Okay, I'm mumbling and this, I don't know, maybe this video won't make it because it doesn't, not sounding too good here. I don't, I'm not crazy about crafting on video. Really not. And I, I'm thinking maybe, unless I get some comments telling me that they, that they do like these videos, um, they don't get as many views definitely as my haul videos. And if, if I get comments that I haven't, I've never gotten negative comments, which I guess is good, but I would still like to hear them because I'd like to know what you like and don't like. If you don't like these crafting videos, um, tell me. You can say it nicely. You don't have to say you suck. You can just say, you know, I, I prefer the haul videos or whatever. Something nice. Um, because if, if, if you're not enjoying these videos, I don't want to turn you off of my whole entire channel. So I can stop making them because I'm, I kind of have fun making them. 
but I also kind of, I always tend to screw up when I'm on camera and I prefer to screw up when nobody's watching. So, I don't know. Tell me, do you like these videos or not? Because if you don't, I won't do them and I'll just stick to haul videos and um, maybe flip throughs or I'll come up with something else to do. I don't know. We'll see. I appreciate you watching and I appreciate your you subscribing. Okay, so that one's got to dry. So now I need to make a card for this pocket. And it needs to be... I don't have much space here, so I have to kind of put things away as I go along. Otherwise, I crowd myself out. All right, so it's going to need to be about four... No bigger than four and a quarter by three and three quarters. So four and a quarter by three and three quarters. I have to write that down because I always forget. Four and a quarter, three and three quarters is my size. And I think, well, you know, I have, I have more cards. I don't know what size they are. Oh, they're too big for that, definitely. Okay, those won't work. So I'll have to make something, which is fine. I like making things as long as I know what I'm doing. Or I have a card. I could do it. No, no, no. They're not, they're too small. I'll just make one. Okay. I am using file folders to make um, journaling cards and tags because it's a good um, neutral color and it's sturdy enough for, for them and they're really cheap because I get them at estate sales for 50 cents or a dollar for a whole pile of them. So that is what I'm using and I'm just cutting off the, the folds. And I save those because I'll use them um, to make the to make like pockets. So I need three and three quarters. By four and a quarter. I tend to have kind of a formula when I'm making this stuff and I tend to do the same thing on a lot of them. But I guess that gives it a bit of a uniformity in the journal. I don't know. I think it gives it a little bit of boringness, but I'm sticking it in the pocket over here to make sure that it fits before I go too much further. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Um, so my thing lately with these is I've been rounding the corners and of course I ink the edges uh, I do that for everything and then I try to figure out okay now what now what's my next step and I come up with a background which is what I'm going to try to do here and a focal point generally um, on the back of it I will put some journaling lines uh, okay, background and focal points. What can I use? How about a book page, maybe? I don't think I've done this. I have one book page background. No, two. I have a couple already, but I think that that might be okay because it kind of gives, it kind of gives it a little bit of a theme going. So let me grab a book page. These are the pages of the Reader's Digest book that I made the cover from. And I'm just going to pick a page and tear it out. And I need an image. I had some 
Maybe it's just here somewhere. Uh, I get too much stuff laying out. Way too much stuff. Um, he's cute, but I think he's too big. Oh yeah, he's way too big. Okay. So I have more shells and fish and stuff, but I get kind of bored with those. That makes a better background, I think. I don't know. I have children's images like this. But I don't want to overdo it with these because I don't, I don't want it to be like children themed, you know. Those are too small. Um, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pause you for a minute while I figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so, so I went through my, um, some of my scrapbook stuff that I had pulled aside for this project. And I have this, I guess it's 8 by 8 I think it's 8 by 8 pad of um, Graphic 45. It's the By the Sea collection. I also have a couple of the 12 by 12 sheets of this. And so what I pulled out of this to use was this, which is kind of like their, their cover page. But I think what I'm going to maybe do is cut around her. I have three of these pages, so um, I don't mind cutting it up because I have two more that I can use for something else. So I think that I might kind of cut around her a little bit and maybe some of the other embellishments I'm not sure whatever will fit on this thing here or if that doesn't work there's this page and I thought I could cut maybe around the lighthouse maybe would probably fit on there so we'll see which one of those seems to work out the best for this so I'm going to just start cutting her and I want to be careful where I cut because you know I'm, if I'm going to put her on the book paper I want to cut her close so we'll do that I guess I could have done this off camera but What's the fun of a craft with, with me if I'm not actually doing it while you're while you're here? If you're crafting, hopefully I'm crafting, and so hopefully something like this isn't as boring for you if you're crafting along. If you're not crafting along and you're just watching, well, sorry. What I do when I'm watching these videos like this, because I do watch a lot of them to get ideas and I just it's just what I like some stupid TV show um, I usually have my my phone in one hand and my laptop has the movie playing and um, I've got a bridge with friends game going or or I'm scrolling through Facebook or something uh, while I'm watching videos and that way you know, I can stop and pay attention to the to the really interesting parts and the parts like this where somebody's fussy cutting or something. I can just play my game. I kind of like how that uh, looks. She'll fit on there very nicely. And there's room that I could put maybe, maybe by the sea or something. I might have another one that has... Um, another saying I've got, hmm, the sea is calling me, that's kind of interesting, up to the beach, or on this one, there's this line of by the sea, um, that says the sea is calling me, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor, I don't think that's appropriate, I don't know. 
Make a wish upon a starfish and by the sea. It says sun, sand, surf. Or make a splash. I don't know, but let me see how this is going to look on here. Like that. I think that'll be... Okay, I hope that's going to work. Now, should I collage the book paper or should I just put the book paper on as it is? I think I might put it on as it is. Okay. see what else have I got going on besides estate sales and stuff I don't know I made a um a journal for my mother I think I did a flip through of it the reading or book theme journal that I had and she's using it which I thought I'm very happy about she um is putting like her favorite poems or songs or images and things like that in it she showed it to me and she had um old a couple of old music books from her time period from the, the 50s i think they were and she had bought them quite a while back at um a, i don't know antique store or somewhere and she wasn't sure what she was going to do with them. So she decided to use some of the... It it was one of the songbooks that... Like a hit parade? It might be hit parade. I, I, she actually gave them to me. I'll have to look at them and see. But I think that they might be hit parade. And um, it had like the lyrics in it. Not It wasn't a music book. That, had, that you play music it, it was a, a hip like hip parade I already said that um so she cut out the lyrics to a few of her favorite songs and then she gave them the magazines to me and if if I think of it I'll pull them out and show them to you and um the, some of the advertisements in those magazines are the coolest things I just love them and I can't wait to cut into those and use them for something I'm really not sure um, what I'm going to um, use them for but they're really they're really fun so yes once again I am inking my edges but you see when I cut it's not always like like super smooth but when you put the ink on it it takes away the little flaws and stuff and you don't even notice that it's not perfect or if you're cutting something and you have white edges it takes away those white edges plus it gives it a bit of a border and it helps it to stand out on your page I like that okay now what else am I going to put on it which one of these? I have. Let me let me just cut a couple of that out and see what they're going to look like. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna cut it so that I have a star on either side of the words. Let's see how that looks. I can change it up. I don't have to use it. If I don't use it here, I can use it somewhere else. Okay, I have that. And then I have... kind of like it. I don't know. What if I put like one of these things? Ew. They're crabs, lobsters, and fish. They're not really that pretty. 
I was going to say if I put one of these things up in the corner here. But they're not very pretty. <laughs> Let me see what a lobster would look like. I don't like the fish. I don't mean to be out of frame. I keep forgetting. That's not bad. I kind of like the red because it gives it a little bit of color. Now, the only other thing that I was thinking of doing on it is putting a little piece of this... Um, It's, I don't know what it originally was. I don't know if it was a, I don't think it was a veil because it's almost sewn like maybe it was a sleeve. I don't know. I have a fairly large piece of this. I have a couple more pieces of it. But this, this netting part is perfect to go underneath an image. And it's got this little bit of embroidery on it if I want that too. Um, mostly I've been using the netting. So if I put this on here, maybe piece underneath her sticking out like that oh I like it I like it I like it okay um and I think I'm going to do I'm gonna try to gather it like that I don't know if I can get the look let's see let's see what we can do with it She's going to be there. Huh. I'm not very good at arranging things. I liked it gathered a little bit. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get this to work, but let me see if I can. I stay there. I don't know if this is going to work. I hope so. I hope you can see me. I know I keep saying that. I'm trying not to say that all the time. Because that's annoying. I know. I'm sorry. But I really... Not sure. I think that'll work. Let's hope it does. I think it will. Okay. Um, put some ink on here. think I think that's you know what I forgot to do what I should have done is um, put the my journaling stuff on the back of it before I put all this on here but that's okay that's right I can work with that does it need something else do you think I don't know 
Let me get this put down and see see what happens. So what are y'all working on? Tell me in the comments below what you're working on while you're watching this. Um, I'd love to know. And if you have a YouTube channel, let me know. I'd like to go and, and check you out and watch you. Because um, I, I like to see what other people are doing. Okay. How is that? What do you think? Does it need something else? I don't know. I don't know what else I would put on there. I don't really like how that's bumping right there, but I really can't help it, I don't think. Okay, it needs um, some journaling lines. So do I have my journal book here? Or did I put it in the other room? Um, I might have to go get it. Shoot. Maybe I have a scrap piece for this fit. That's too small. Too small. I'm going to have to go get it. I don't know where it is. I thought I had it right here. But you know what? I, I did some organizing the other day. And I might have put it away in the other room. I'll have to find it. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so I seem to have misplaced the journaling book that I was using for this. I don't, I really don't know what I did with it. But I have another one. And I have another option also. So this one has glue pages in it, which I think will go with that. So I'm going to just grab one. And I also have this that I found the other day. I was looking, I have a basket full of tags, pre-made tags and journaling cards from scrapbooking. And I was searching for something in there and I found this. Um, it's old from Creative Memories and they are the old journaling cards that Creative Memories used to have. And they're, they're very plain, but what they are good for, not that they're good for nothing, um, is to use on your tags and journal boxes. Now this one isn't going to quite fit the way that I want it to. I could tear it and it would work, but it's kind of greenish, right? I don't know. I think it might go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tear each of these and see which one I like better to put on here. So I pulled these things out of that box and I'm keeping them on my desk where I can find them or I might actually use them and get them out of my stash. I don't need them taking up space. I need to use them. So that is what we're going to do. So I think that I'm going to tear just along the um, edges of this because that seems to be where it will fit the best. This is another uh, common, I don't know, technique, I guess, that I use on my journaling cards and my tags where I tear the edges of some kind of journaling, whether it's from a journal book or from uh, some other journal card or piece of notebook paper whatever I find that has lines on it that'll fit um, is what I use and it just gives the user a spot to, to say oh this is where I can journal okay so I have that one that would go like that it's okay let me see how it looks when I ink the edges I'm not super crazy about it but 
Maybe it's the color. It's too green. But that really doesn't matter that much. I have all these colors in this journal, so they should all work. They should all work well together. Okay, so that's what it will look like if I use this one. And let me tear this one up and see what this one will look like. Oh, this paper's really thin. That was a must have been a cheap journal. I buy journals at the uh, thrift stores. Once in a while, you can find one at an estate sale, but usually they're at the thrift thrift stores. And um, I tear out the pages. I love it because they're cheap and they make really cute journaling spots. Sometimes they have watermarks on them. Sometimes they have images on the top or the bottom or somewhere. So, um, the weather today is, well, it started out a little rainy, but it looks like the sun is coming out now. Um, we were hoping for an early spring, but it seems to have gotten chilly again. The weather keeps going back and forth between warm and cold and warm and cold, which is, it's kind of typical, um, for Florida in this time of year. Okay, so I have this one. Or I have this one. Kind of like the color on this one. Gives it a little bit more interest. I think I'm going to go with this one. And that one I'll use on something else. Thanks for your help. Okay, now this is a little bit heavy. Heavier than just paper. So I'm going to use the wet glue. Which I don't normally use just on paper. But when it's a little heavier like this, I want to make sure... It's going to stay down. You see how slowly I work? I don't know how long this video is right now, but I haven't gotten much done because I work very slow. And that's why it takes me months to make a journal. I see people whipping out a journal in a, in a few days. I just, I can't do it. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't have um, a formula down yet, I guess, for making the journals. I have a formula for some of the embellishments, you know, like this. But I don't really have a, a formula for the, the journal, the whole process, so that I can just whip it out like that. Um, and I know people make, like, multiples at one time because they're selling them. So they make a lot, but I'm I, I'm not selling them. And mine are very custom, customized for the individual receiver. Now I know, I know the lines are going the other way, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, I am kind of happy with that. I still feel like this needs something else, but I'm not sure what, and I don't want to overdo it. So for now, that is how it's going into this pocket right here and I oh, maybe I shouldn't put that in there with that on there do you think that'll get torn off I'm afraid it would going in and out of that pocket I think this needs a side pocket and if I don't have one now I'll make one hmm I don't really like that on there I think that I'm going to make a side pocket maybe here and put it in the side pocket because I just I don't I don't like that being there but that's okay now I have one for this page here 
Okay, so now I need to make another one for here that is not, um, doesn't have something on it that can get caught and stuck. So I'll have to think about that and think about what I want to do with that. And I might just take one, a pre-made one and put it in there. I'm not sure. Okay, but you know what? I'm going to end this video now because you're probably really, really bored. And um, wait, I got uh, not much done, <laughs> really. But, you know, hey, what the heck? I'm working on it. So I guess we will see you another time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.